Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, I think a couple weeks ago I said in one of my videos that every single political leader, and especially Donald Trump, should do more of this. If you're based and you're dropping red pills left, right, and center, bring the damn receipts and bring it in visual form. There is no better way to get the message across. Bring photos, bring documents, make it big, put it on a poster for everybody to see. See, come prepared, come with the receipts, and hit back hard against the bogus narratives. Trump did it recently during the CNN town hall, and my only criticism was that he should have brought a more blown out version for it to be actually legible on the camera, forcing all the leftoids watching CNN to watch, listen, and read. But anyways, it seems like the trend of bringing receipts to the debate table or to these discussion format news programs is exploding, and I absolutely love it. This time, we have Italy's new based right-wing prime minister, Mrs. Georgia Maloney. She brought the receipts for everyone to see in this epic live moment on TV. But before we get into any of that, this video is actually brought to you guys by a sponsor. So let's play that clip. As you guys know, here at the Liberal Hive Mind, we very rarely take sponsorship deals. But with a company like Ground News, it's a no-brainer. We truly live in an era of fake news, the tabloid political press. Digital news and ad-driven algorithms have made it profitable for news outlets to sensationalize content that targets specific readers based on their politics and worldview. While the solution to seeing the full picture comes in the form of the Ground News website and Ground News app, and specifically the blind spot tool that they've created. Here's a great example. These two stories with multiple sources cover important issues. For instance, the CDC is accused of ignoring science with chest-feeding advice for transgender patients. Children's Hospital agreed to pay employee to give a drag performance to school kids, well, as you can see by the blind spot meter, there has been 0% coverage from left wing publications. Ground News' blind spot fills in the partisan gaps showing you everything that you might not be seeing in your own media bubble. It's a fantastic product, and so we're glad to partner up and offer you guys an exclusive offer of 30% off unlimited access if you sign up or subscribe today through the link below. Go to ground.news slash hivemind to support a news platform that's doing incredible work. All right, folks, France's immigration policies, of course, following the riots, have been at the forefront of the political discussion, especially in Europe, and Georgia Maloney chimed in. Questo? Si chiama Franco CFA. È la moneta coloniale che la Francia stampa per 14 nazioni africane alla quale applica, alle quali applica il signoraggio e in forza delle quali sfrutta le risorse di questa nazione. Questo, questo è un bambino che lavora in una miniera d'oro in Burkina Faso. Il Burkina Faso è una delle nazioni più povere del mondo. Per il Burkina Faso che ha l'oro, la Francia stampa moneta coloniale. In cambio pretende che finiscano nelle casse del tesoro francese il 50% di tutto quello che il Burkina Faso esporta. L'oro che questo bambino si infila in un cunicolo per tirare fuori finisce per lo più nelle casse dello Stato francese. Allora la soluzione non è prendere gli africani e spostarli in Europa, la soluzione è liberare l'Africa da certi europei che la sfruttano e consentire a queste persone di vivere di quello che hanno. Holy frickin' based. I mean, the red pill of all red pills. I never looked at it from that angle. I haven't studied European history probably to the extent that I should. I haven't really developed and formulated concrete political stances and opinions when it comes to European politics. It's just not exactly my domain. But I have to say watching this moment was helpful in terms of crafting my perspective. She is 100% correct. And actually it ties in directly into many of the points that we make with this whole globalist cabal that we're constantly railing against. These migrant crises, these border crises, the spike in refugees and asylum seekers. It's the fallout, it's the result of these globalist regime policies. Or, I guess, actions in the third world. We're told by these globalist elitists and these leftist warmongers that the moral thing to do is open your borders and simply accept the third world, grant asylum to illegal migrants by the masses because they're escaping such a horrible environment. But in most cases, that horrible environment 
is a result of American or EU involvement in the region, causing nothing but chaos, plundering resources, failed regime change. They leave tragedy in their wake everywhere they go, and then they claim the solution is to keep importing a few million people from these regions every single year, philanthropy done, problem solved. Like Prime Minister Georgia Maloney said, the solution is not to keep the migrants out of France, it's to keep France and their greedy fingers out of Africa. Based. Absolutely hit the nail on the head. You know, it really makes you question. Let's look at central banks across the world, ranked by the largest gold holdings. France is in the fourth position. United States, Germany, Italy, and France. Italy having sizable gold reserves makes sense. I mean, there's actually a gold rush revival in Italy currently happening. People are finding nuggets the size of breadcrumbs. France, however, at least from my understanding, doesn't even really have gold. Well, I mean, they have some, they have a couple mines, but not enough to be fourth on the list. Much of their gold comes from Africa, abroad, from French colonial states. France has been plundering foreign resources for a very, very long time. The gold that sits in the French reserve has a face to it. It's the face that Georgia Maloney held up to the camera. They've immediately lost their moral authority. Constantly were being lectured to on issues of immigration by people like Emmanuel Macron. You have no moral authority. But as you can see, he has absolutely no moral authority over anyone. It's a broken globalist immigration system, an illegal immigration racket that's being forcibly enabled, and you're gaslit into supporting it. Or at least not opposing it, because of course we know if if you oppose it, if you oppose the illegal immigration racket, then you're basically the second coming of insert terrible historical figure here, but I'm not buying any of it. The solution to this immigration crisis isn't to import an insignificant fraction of the third world population. It's to enable democracy, growth, business across the world. France isn't doing that. France is oppressing people in Africa, treating it essentially as modern day slave labor, and then pretending like they're virtuous, like they're doing the right thing. It's cringe and pathetic. You know what the solution is when it comes to foreign policy in places like the Middle East and Africa? Doing business with them, treating them with dignity and respect, not in or occupying these countries, not launching regime change coups on American and EU taxpayers' dime. It's essentially leaving them alone, not enforcing our values on them, simply allowing them to exercise their basic right of being a sovereign nation and not sticking our nose into their affairs, and certainly not using their youth as essential modern-day slaves to mine our gold, precious metals, cobalt, and other minerals in awful, and I mean horrible, hazardous conditions. We enable this instability we create this instability, we benefit off of it, and then of course the fallout, the blowback, poverty, the struggle, war, we then pat ourselves on the back as virtuous, morally clean, by not enforcing our borders, claiming we're doing the right thing by refugees. Give me a break. It's a freaking racket. And of course, one more thing that I have to address. I know a lot of people in the comment section are probably going to be suggesting that Georgia Maloney is a hypocrite, because here she is signing on in an agreement with the EU to grant 450,000 work permits for non-EU workers between 2023 and 2025, amounting to roughly 150,000 workers a year. But that's simply a distraction. That's legal migration. That's vetted migration in order to fill economic gaps that simply exist in the West because we're not producing children and we're, of course, overly educated and privileged and our children don't want to work hard jobs. I think that's a bogus talking point, suggesting that Georgia Maloney is essentially on board for illegal boat migrants. It's completely ridiculous. And I just figured I'd tackle that at the end, because obviously people are going to be writing that in the comments. Italy's new prime minister continues to knock it out of the park, and this moment was powerful, incredible, and eye-opening. Thanks for watching. That's what I got for you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.